As you get older, you realize police do a lot more than just pull people over, make arrests. Teens in Clarksville are getting an up close look at exactly what that looks like. Thanks to the Citizens Police Academy. Hannah McDonald has the story. All right, I got lots of pictures, OK? Pictures are cool, right? Sometimes you have to see something to understand something. Heroin, probably our most seen in Clarksville. All week, teens from the Clarksville area are seeing what local police do. You see how these are all different? To hopefully get a better understanding of the people that wear the uniform. It builds our community. It builds their trust, and that's the main objective of our unit. The officers with JET, the police department's juvenile engagement team, are putting on this Teen Citizens Police Academy. Meaning interviews, we would gather evidence. 35 kids between the ages of 13 and 17 signed up for their own unique reason. Well, in general, I think it's good for everyone to have an understanding of the police force. We're going to talk more about active shooters in just a minute. The police department enlisted their officers and others to talk to the group about public safety issues, including school shootings. Don't say it can't happen here because it absolutely can and I pray that it never will. How can I tell the difference between like an actual vitamin and a drug? Kids are learning there's a lot more to policing than meets the eye. When the SWAT team or the tech team, when they came here, I learned a lot of stuff of what they do. I just thought they just ran into buildings. If I take one of her pills because I was in pain, is that fine? Participants appreciate the exposure they're getting to dangers in the community. I didn't know most about them drugs. If it looks like this, the drugs was shocking because they look like candies. It's an experience police hope they'll never forget and an opportunity police are grateful for. It's, you know, basically looking at a younger version of me and what can I tell, you know, these juveniles as they come up? Um, how can I be a good influence to them and how can I show them that police officers are cool, you know, police officers want to see what's best for them. In Clarksville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Hannah, since the end of the school year, Clarksville police have seen an uptick in juvenile crime, about 250 incidents involving kids since school ended the last day of classes. A 14 and 16 year old were even charged with criminal homicide.